Hey man, you got a sec? I have a lot of seconds, actually. Funny. Well, let me ask you something. You think we're still relevant? Like, hip with the kids? I mean, in general. We've only been around for a few months, and it feels like everyone's already forgotten about us. We've already been covered in a bunch of reviews. At least you got covered already, man. I'm still waiting for my review. Pipe down, you idiot. Couple of loud noises and camera falling. It's nothing that exciting. Besides, you're next in the queue anyway. I still think I could have been reviewed sooner. Hell, we all could have at this point. And who is to blame for that? I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. Welcome to my review of the Protector of Jungle, another entry in the Protector line. As I stated in my Protector of Stone review, these guys are very similar in build, more so than any other build. So to avoid any overlap, I'm just going to talk about the differences. Starting off with the colors, which they're the same as Lewa, except for the armor on the limbs. While I'm okay with the parts being this color, I feel like Lewa should have had some clear armor to really balance out the both of them. Or at least give this little punk some opaque green armor. I really don't know. The most bizarre addition are the vines on his ankles, which, yeah, they fit the character very well, it's just the color it doesn't really match anything. I mean, it sort of matches the translucent green plastic on the armor, but it would have been better being bright green or maybe cute orange, but it really doesn't fit all that well. But it is a nice touch to have. Lastly, having armor on his back really helps fill him out a lot more and makes him look a little less skeletal, even though his limbs are still pretty bony in that regard. He did it! He finally did it! He went this long without making a joke! Oh, thank Makuhiro City! We finally get to summon our master. Get your hero call fired up, Serge. We need to work together as a team to do this. Yeah, man, let's rock this shit. Priest in Storm. Priest in Storm. Priest in Storm. Oh, hell no, you don't, Nero Sactory. Huh? You fiend. How did you find us here? And now for our up and coming segment. Shooting things at Preston Stormer. Yeah, I did it! Eat my shit! And I guess after that big mess, we're gonna move on right to the posability. Uh, there's nothing particularly what too What the cre fuck are you doing? Oh, hey, uh, I thought I wrote you out of this review. Uh, I really don't care. You know you need to make those jokes back to back so those little imps can't summon you know who, right? Uh, I don't know, I just... I, I... I wasn't really new with this guy, so I kind of just played it straight. I, I didn't know what else to do. Well, make some jokes up. This shit's, like, super important. See you later, asshole. Okay. Alright. Um. So again, back to the, back to the pose ability here. Uh, taking his crossbow out of the way. Um, again, he's very similar to the Protector of Stone, with a couple of differences. Uh, mainly being in his legs. Now, I know in the Protector of Stone review, I did have the armor on the wrong spot. It was in the wrong placement. It's supposed to be in the front here, but instead I had it swivel to the side, like this guy. Because, this is a way better way for posing. I mean, if you're doing stop motions like me, like, it gets a bit of, it gets to be a pain if his legs are constantly never being able to, you know, collide like that so have them out to the side it reveals a lot more of the bone especially because it's a translucent piece as well but in general i think it looks pretty fine it looks pretty good and it's better for posability uh and that's the only real key difference i mean if you want to count the back armor here i mean there's nothing particularly different i mean that, that doesn't even hinder anything like unless you want to put the leg all the way you know to make it parallel with his spine. I mean, you could do that if you so desire. But yeah, you know, he's got all the ball joints you, you need. 
the the neck I, i'm starting to really get annoyed by the masks on these guys a lot more than i did when i first bought them because moving their head around is getting to be a pain because i always try to hold the mask and i am just pulling off the mask like again there's a box of these dudes sitting in my room and all their masks are on the bottom of the box so but yeah then you have the crossbow which i think is really cool i feel like it's uh, I feel like the stone and jungle guys have the better weapons out of everyone. And they both offer some really cool stuff. Like, this guy is great for po. I just launched a thingy. <laughs> but you can pose it like this. And he can just be like, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm going to shoot some pew pew things. And go pew 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 pew. Like, it's a really cool dynamic looking pose. But then if you're trying to have him just, you know, one hand it and just have it off to the side. Like, it just looks super unwieldy. Like, super unwieldy. And that's where the stone guy kind of, like, you know, triumphs. Because he doesn't look all that great holding it two-handed. But one-handed looks alright. This is the reverse. So, I don't know. I, I like the protector of jungle. I think he's a cool guy. There's nothing particularly wrong with him. But, yeah. That's it for the pose ability. I, I don't really know what else to talk about him. Do, do people still say Blarg? I don't know. Overall, the Protector of Jungle is on the same level as the Stone Protector, but with a different weapon. Good parts, good toying, generally just a fun figure. Pick him up if you have any interest, but I wouldn't make him your first choice. Maybe second or third. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Anyway guys, this is Shadow Gear 635 and I hope you all have a good day. Some opaque green armor, I really don't know. Oh, I hit my desk. This is a punk. This is a little punk here. Get the boy to buy you. What's a pezzano? The most bizarre addition to the... <laughs> oh my god. All he does is one voice and he can't fucking... Oh my god. Can't do one voice. I've been sitting here fucking like five minutes trying to do one voice. The struggle is real. I'm just saying. Cool. Put you.